Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with, well, it's basically a Sims Info and Thoughts video slash tutorial. Because we're going to be talking about a fairly major issue with Eco Lifestyle, and then later on I'll have a tutorial on how to fix it. The issue that we're talking about today is about Pinecrest Apartments number 404 that's in the Conifer Station District of Evergreen Harbor. So to give some more context to this, we're going over to Answers HQ. The person who originally posted about this issue says that by either trying to edit the left apartments in Evergreen Harbor or by moving in a family or sim is how we can find the bug ourselves. And what happens is that usually you would be able to edit the balcony in that said apartment left side. But it says objects can't be placed unless a sim occupies that apartment or if it's not occupied in general. The message does not change when a sim is living in that apartment. It's clearly a part of that apartment. But it would make a lot of sense to be able to place our own furniture on that balcony. So why can't we? Simgrew Frost did end up answering this thread. So he says, hi all. This is a design decision, and I have more info from SimGuru Paul to share on why. Thanks for playing Eco Lifestyle, Simmers. We want to address your feedback on the balcony of Pinecrest Apartment 404. Some of you might have seen some early videos in which game changers were building on balconies. They were playing on an alpha build that had the issues described below. When we initially designed and built that apartment, we planned for the balcony to be buildable space to make up for the real life limitation of not having a yard. We ran into some challenges along the way, and we'd like to share with you what happened. We learned during production that the tech for swapping the apartment exteriors with gameplay could not accommodate this due to complications with the apartment exterior dynamically changing with the neighborhood. The balcony also had a bug in which neighbors looking for the front door would walk through the apartment uninvited to get to the balcony and then knock on the sliding glass door. How rude! We tried to fix that enabled items to be placed on the balcony, but this resulted in more bugs. When the town enacted the Modern Development Neighborhood Action Plan, the balcony wall did not update to match the wood paneling from the rest of the building. If you tried to fix the pattern manually, the wall did not respond predictably, and that neighborhood action plan caused the window and the door to disappear erratically. We explored and attempted multiple fixes, but when they didn't pan out, we decided the best option was to return to a static balcony and adjust the logic for determining the front door. We apologize for any confusion this may have caused, and we hope this at least gives some insight into what went into the decision. Simguru Paul. I'm glad they have addressed why this issue is happening because I've seen a lot of discussion around it and I noticed that in my game too and I thought, okay, maybe it is a bug and I'll just wait some extra time before I move any sims into there and maybe by then it will be fixed, but it looks like, no, they're not going to fix it. I know those game changers who did get super early access were saying that they played on an early alpha build but if there were to be any differences between that and the final retail version, I do not think it was going to be that. And it does look like they are caught in a situation where either way, people were going to complain. Because if they did let the balcony be customizable, then we'd have even more bugs and we would be complaining about those instead. It's nice that they did try to give us a customizable balcony, but in this particular situation, no, they couldn't pull it off. It does look like... They just can't do it. I don't know if they could if they even had more time. I know there are balconies in some city living's apartments, but they don't change with the environments like they do in Evergreen Harbor. I wish this issue was addressed sooner, but I think it is because the game just came out on a Friday, right before the weekend. So now it's Monday, the first workday of the week, so now they can address it. Before I get into the tutorial section of this video, Simguru Frost did reply to one other question. What about the bulldozing problem and the fact that the apartment has no floor when looking from a low angle? And he says, we are looking into a fix for that. I hope we can get another patch within the next couple of weeks. I'm really glad they fixed that save issue and one of the error code things very quickly. But yeah, there's, <laughs> there's always a lot of bugs now with each expansion pack launch especially. 
I think, yeah, there's usually issues with the stuff packs and gay packs too, but since the expansion packs overhaul the game the most, there tends to be the most issues, and now we have over 30 packs of The Sims 4, so it's kind of hard to avoid at this point, but still, I hope they can fix some of the really big issues. I know some people were talking about how The Sims can pee fire, apparently, <laughs> and I haven't run into that issue myself, but that does sound pretty annoying. Now, to get into the tutorial aspect, the solution, you might not be entirely surprised that it's thanks to a mod. <laughs> this time, it's the Tool Mod by Twisted Maxi. I did do a full overview of this mod quite a while back, so I will leave a link to that video in the video description below if you want to learn more about it. But you can use this mod as a workaround to the balcony in the apartment not being customizable. What you're seeing on screen right now is what happens if you try to place anything on the balcony without the assistance of the tool mod. The game will tell you that you cannot make changes outside the owned area. So what you do with the tool mod is after installing it into your mods folder, go to that apartment and bring up the cheat window with shift control C. Type in testing cheats true and hit enter. I already have the cheat enabled upon startup thanks to the MC command mod, so that's why that's not shown in this footage. But after that, place a chair or whatever you want to place on the balcony within the normal editable area. So I just place this lounge chair within the living room. And then you shift click on the chair or whatever object and you go into this tool sub menu. From there you can choose either toggle active object or move. Move is using X, Y, and coordinates. I think toggle active object is a much easier way to do this. So that's what I'm going to do. So just shift click anywhere on the ground on the balcony and then click on the tool options menu again and then you'll see move active object here. So click on that and there you go. The lounge chair is now outside. So then shift click on it again and then click on toggle active object so that it's no longer highlighted in green. And then there you go. It's moved onto the balcony and your sims can just use it as they would a normal object. I want to clarify what the tool mod does though, because it does not make any normally unbuildable area into buildable ones. It's just a way to move an object's position outside of its original location to the point where it can be outside a buildable area if you want it to. The mod does not allow you to build full on structures in places where you can't normally. So it's not a create a world mod but you can still make public spaces more lively. For example, I added the obstacle course objects for pets to the playground in the Mirage Park district of Del Sol Valley so that there's more stuff to do. But what if you change your mind? What if you don't want it there anymore? Well, if you haven't gone into build mode, it is possible to go into the tool menu and there's an undo command. But if not, you can also move the object back into your apartment using the toggle active object or the move function. So I'm just going to place that chair back into my living room. And then once it is back in the living room, I was able to just go into build mode and delete it from there. Thanks to that, you don't have to fully commit to an object being there if you no longer want it there. And by the way, you can use this with custom content as well. I have used it with the flocks of seagulls and pigeons by Backy Gaming, so I can have more of those collectible feathers outside of Brindleton Bay. One other option that you have that's a little bit simpler, if you have the All Cheats mod by Twisted Maxi, then you will have this Destroy Object Debug Cheat if you shift click on any object. So you can just click that and then it'll just go away, it'll just delete itself without having to move it anywhere else first. Overall it is pretty crappy that we have to rely on mods to fix an issue once again, but at least there is this option if you do want to use mods, so you can still decorate your balcony if you want to. It'll just be a bit more difficult than if it was just straight up a buildable area. And that wraps up another Sims Info and Thoughts video, so feel free to let me know in the comments section below. What do you think about this issue of the balcony not being buildable? Does it bother you or do you really not care much about it? And be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with my latest content from The Sims, Paralives, Sonic the Hedgehog, and more. So I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching.